Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel Cloud and AI Analytics. Hope everyone is doing good. I am Viknesh and in this video, we are going to do a small answer on, on Google Cloud App Engine. So, so without any further delay, let's get started. So I am inside my console and I am inside this particular project where I, I have already enabled the API. So the first and the foremost thing is you have to enable the API of that particular service. So I have already enabled and I have already, when you just click on this create application, the first thing is you have to select a region. So this is the region or whatever the region you wanted. You can just click on that select and you will be able to uh, give service account. So we will be able to use that same uh, default app engine service account, which has editor access. So if the edit, if there is a restriction in IAM, please make sure you have provide the necessary access or provide necessary uh, roles and uh, permissions to that particular service account so the moment you click on next you will be able to see you can see all the languages python node.js java go php dot net ruby other as well and here you can see environment is standard if i switch to flexible and you will be able to see different languages as well like python node.js java go php dot net so uh, these are some pre popular languages popular runtimes basically activate your cloud shell and switch on to your uh, uh, cloud editor which I have already did here so here you can see from flask and whatever the code the same code I have in uploaded here the host is local the port is 8080 debug equal to true and this was the requirement uh, where requirement is flask equal to 2.1.0 and the docker file so we are going to create a docker image and then we are going to deploy that docker image so here you can see from python 3.7 work directory that is app and run like pip install gunicorn pip install requirement.txt file and port is 8080 and this is what execute gunicorn and port number 8080 where worker is one thread this eight and main app so we are going to call this functionality main app so now you can see you can come here you can initialize it you can authenticate your account and finally you can just deploy this account as deploy this code I am going to list that project like I am inside this directory app engine. I am going to list what all the files which is present inside this directory. So here you can see the docker file app.yaml main.py requirement.txt and previously we have copied this command. Right? You can just take it and paste it here. gcloud app deploy. So after executing this command, this will take some time. So here you can see like I have to just authenticate my account gcloud auth login like if I execute that command we will be able to see what is that uh, the location or the region we have to uh, select you have to select that region followed by you have to give this yes because I have already selected that region so it basically uh, app deploy or app engine is a region based service once you select a particular region you will be not able to modify it or you will be not able to edit it so this will take some time uh, after four minutes if you see this has been like my app engine is ready so here you can see it has uploaded zero file like all the files to my cloud storage bucket and here you can see this is the uh, app url like app engine's url if you just click on this you will be able to see the final result so greetings from kf and cloud and ai analytics where you can see this image so this is the image which i uploaded inside my cloud storage bucket and here you can see all these things like uh, deployed uh, setting traffic as well so all those things you will be able to see it from here and this is the final url so when we are using google app engine we have to just concentrate on the code rest everything that server the load balancing uh, traffic splitting versioning everything is taken care by google cloud itself so if you go here and you see you can just click on this dashboard here you can find all the other details of this particular app engine so all versions so basically we have two version the latest version is 100 percent summary like request by type latency all those things you will be able to see it here and this is what the instance usage billable and the current load all the details you will be able to find it from here from dashboards also so if you just click on this particular version and you can see you will be able to see all the details related to that and here you can also see versions what are the different versions instances so we have currently one instance is running right so that instance task queue scron job security scans firewalls quotas memcache so we'll be able to see all that details also here the default like i have deployed the same version like twice so this is the first version like this is the latest version second version if i click on this default service it will be again taken into my 
that image itself output app engine which i which we deployed here so if you just click on this logs you will be taking to this cloud login so everything all the other details it is taken care by cloud platform itself on in our case it is taken all by google cloud itself here you can see these are the two versions previously i when i deployed here you can see like python image standard all those things you will be able to see it here april 15 all those things you will you can see the same thing right uh, there is no big difference so there all the traffic version like traffic is pointed towards the latest version uh, so that's it for this video i hope you learned something from this video how to work with app engine how to deploy app engine how to work with g cloud commands so that's it for this video um, if you have any questions any doubts please post that in the comment section i'll take a look at it and reply to it as soon as possible please do like comment share and subscribe to cloud and AI analytics and don't forget to click on the bell icon i'll see you in the next video with more with more interesting content and materials from google cloud platform until then it's bye from viknesh happy learning